Hi, my name's Nick Tan, and I'm going to show you my plectrum picking style for my 12 string. Um, I'll just angle the camera down here. Uh, I'm going to use a, a couple of different techniques. The, uh, I'll take you through the, my left hand technique in a minute. But my right hand technique is basically striking the one of the bass strings here individually, and then kind of a strum there on the on the uh, higher strings there. So it, to practice this kind of technique without using your left hand, because I advise if you want to. If you want to improve your right hand technique, then you really need to leave your left hand alone for a while, just so you can get the, um, the basics. So it's Okay, so the practice, it sounds a little bit awkward because I'm not actually playing any chords, but I'm just... doing you just got to kind of keep the rhythm going but it's just hitting a string here an individual string here and then some kind of strum here so make your own up if you like if not you can follow this one it's So the second part, once you've got the, kind of got the hang of that, which depending on how much practice you do, uh, well, that, the amount of practice you do will show how far, hang on, I'm not putting this very well. The more practice you do, the easier it gets. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to use this chord here, uh, which is kind of like a classic Jimi Hendrix chord. It's a blues, a blues chord. Um, it's kind of like, I learned it as a B7 years ago. Yeah, and if, there. B7, but you can put it anywhere, and I do. And you have to make sure that if you're playing it here, yeah, that you're not playing this E chord, this E note here, yeah. So you've got to start with a, yeah. It sounds a bit discordant, yeah, but if you put it in with a, yeah. sound too bad right so there's there's a little subtle difference that I, I, I do to a lot of other guitarists that you might not notice straight away but basically well, I'm just going to show you this little technique so you're going to go from the here Okay, so run that through a few times. When you get confident with that, um, then you can try the thing that I, I started doing a few years ago by accident. Uh, and as I said before in other lessons, um, if you make a mistake when you're doing one of these exercises, don't stop and start again. Remember that mistake, maybe even play it again because you might find it useful. When you're playing this chord, I, I'm exaggerating you here, but play, don't be afraid of playing it open. Yeah, because you get that and you can find you can pick up some special little nuances sometimes and some bits and pieces that I don't know, can often make it sound a little bit better especially if you speed it up with all these things all these exercises that you do start off nice and slow and then speed them up
Good luck.